Okay, just a wee video on basic patterns. We're just going to start off by talking through these three examples. So, if I look at example one, a stereotypical question would be write down the next three numbers in the sequence and then also write down the rule for getting the next number in the sequence. So, I start off with the first question there write down the next three. Hopefully you can see that what we're doing to get from one term in the sequence, one number in the sequence to the next, is we're just adding three. So obviously the next three would be 12, 15 and 18. Okay, for these types of sequences, it is important that we get used to actually noticing how we're getting from one number to the next. In this example, we're adding three. So it's important that we get used to to noticing the jump um, along the bottom. That's actually going to help us when we deal with more complicated sequences, which we'll come on to later. Right, so the rule then. So what a lot of people do write down is add three. The rule is add three. Um, that's actually only part of the rule, and I'll just show you why. If I start at five and I add three, I get a completely different sequence. So five, eight, 11, 14. So add three, does not adequately define that sequence. Um, and the point I'm trying to make by showing you a different sequence at the side there is the number that you start at is important. So to write down the rule for this sequence here, what I would write down is starting at three, then add three. And that would be the rule. And that does actually describe this sequence here. Okay, it is the basics, so again, the next one, you probably already spotted the, the pattern, we're going down in fives this time, so again, we just carry on the next three. And obviously, if I kept going with that sequence, I would go into negative numbers. Okay, that's absolutely fine, you can have negative numbers in a sequence. Again, the rule, hopefully you can see that we're starting at 25 and what we're doing this time is we're taking away and we're taking away 5. Again if I just highlight the jumps we're going down in 5s. Okay and the last one again um, is the basics or the kind of introduction to, to patterns. Hopefully you can see that all we're doing to get to the next number in the sequence is we're just half in the number before. So again if I go through that we're going to have 12.5 we're going to have 6.25 and finally we're going to have 3.125 and that would be the next three numbers, the next three terms in the sequence. Um, and again it's got decimals in there, that, that's completely fine, you can have decimals in a, a sequence as well. Okay, so this time the rule starting at 100, then dividing. And when we are down, writing down the rules, we want to talk about the operations. So, okay, we could say halving um, there, because if you half something, that's the same as dividing it by two. But we want to use the operations, i.e. add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So try and use those words when you're writing down your rule. 